and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you my personal Stone Cold Fox collection that I've built over the years. Stone Cold Fox is one of my favorite brands. Everything is designed and made in LA, super delicate, and also inspired by vintage clothing. A lot of the pieces from this brand are on the pricier side, starting at about $150, but I promise you that these items will stay in your closet forever because of the really great quality that they use, as well as the fact that the styles aren't super trendy. I started my Stone Cold Fox collection probably about four or five years ago when I first heard about the brand, and I've been growing it ever since. So I'll start off by showing you the first and oldest piece in my collection. This piece is the Love Jumper. It's a long sleeve romper that has a cinched waist, a button closure for the V-neck, as well as a ruffle edge hem that kind of is shorter on the sides. That kind of gives it like a cheeky look. Um, it's super cute. It's made of like a crepe fabric. It's really comfortable. I love pairing it with accessories like a really bold necklace or bold earrings and even a Stonkle Fox belt that I have as well. I love that I can dress it up by wearing mule heels and even dress it down with simple sneakers like these from Superga. It's so versatile and easy to build on to make a complete outfit. The top belt is a deadhead belt with spiky metal arrows, and the bottom is a Devondra belt that I'm wearing, both from the collaboration with Love AJ. So the next piece that I purchased is this robe right here. This one is called the Fox Robe. It's made of 100% silk and also has this like really great lace detailing on the arms here. This robe is more of an everyday robe, and I love to wear it in the mornings when I get ready. I've seen a lot of bridal parties get this robe in different colors and prints, and it looks really cute in the photos when everyone's matching. So this is the Amore jumper. It has a high neck, deep open back, as well as some ruffle detailing on the edges here. I actually wore this piece in one of my previous videos featuring the Birkin basket. I'll leave the link down below so you can check that out and see another way of styling this piece. I love the fact that this Piece has such a unique print. I've never seen this print before and it's something that I love about this brand where the prints that you see are not traditional prints or prints that you see every day so it makes it really unique. I sometimes wear this jumper as a beach cover-up because it's so easy to slip on and off and the material is really thin so it's perfect for those hot summer days. And when it gets a little colder I like to throw on an oversized sweater on top and it basically turns a jumper into shorts. So this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection. This is called the Onyx Gown. It comes featured in this giraffe print and it has a high neck where you can tie it right here as well as an open back. It's almost like a racer back. And it also has two front slits that shows a lot of skin but in a classy way. I think this dress is perfect for wearing to parties during the holiday season. It's definitely a statement piece and very alluring because of the print and design. I usually pair this dress with strappy sandals and add a fur vintage coat on top to keep me warm. I also have the onyx gown in two more colorways because I'm obsessed with the fit. I have the white colorway and this one is made of 100% silk and it's a bit see-through so I have to wear a slip underneath so it's not as revealing. And I also have it in black but the only difference is that it is more of like a crepe fabric. Next up is this long sleeve robe that has lace trim on the arms. I believe this one is called the Helena robe. It's made of 100% silk as well and kind of in this off-white creamy color. And it has this really gorgeous back where it's like lace crochet detailing that I'm obsessed with. What I love about this robe is that it has a really long fit and it flows when I walk. And it's super comfortable and I love just lounging around in it and it makes me feel really classy and beautiful. I have a thing for robes, and this one has a very angelic feel to it. It's super light and thin with dainty details. Another robe I have is this one, which features a really unique print. It's in like a red, pink, and cream colorway. It has bell sleeves with a lot of fabric on the edge, which makes it really playful and fun, as well as an attached tie on the back like the other robes. 
and I love this piece because it's super versatile where I can wear it as a robe where I can lounge in around the house or also sometimes wear it as a kimono over like a bathing suit or even just over jeans and a top. This one is called the Coyote Dress. It features a really cool back where it's all open and has a knot detailing here with lace trim, some cinch sides, and is a midi length. Because the highlight of this dress is the open back, it's definitely a dress to wear in the spring summer season so you can really show off all the details. This dress is great for birthdays, graduation parties, or summer holidays. So this is more of an everyday piece. It's made of 100% linen material and has a raw edge here. I actually lost the button, so I just put a safety pin in replace of it. They are a little bit big on me, so I do hike it up and wear it high-waisted. So this next dress is called the Desire Gown. It is a floor-length dress with long sleeves, it's made out of a crepe material and also has a deep v-neck with a tie and one side slit in the front. This dress is super long where it kind of drags on the floor when you walk, so it's really fancy. I've worn this dress probably about two or three times, I think once at a wedding and once at a New Year's party. Because the neckline is a little too low for my liking, I use a safety pin to bring it up a bit. This gown goes well with ankle strap heels or pumps and is also a great dress to wear to a black tie event. So this is the last piece in my collection so far. It is called the Vermont Gown and it's actually a two for one because it comes with a slip dress as well as the lace dress that goes on top because it is super see-through. I am personally obsessed with slip dresses so I would wear this dress by itself with simple strappy heels or sneakers to dress it down or obviously I'd wear it with this dress underneath. So this gown has such beautiful details. Everything is lace see-through and very dreamy and delicate like. It has a deep v-neck cut as well as elastic cuffs. I have yet to wear this gown out, but I just had to buy it when it went on sale a few seasons back because I needed it in my closet. I kind of feel like I'll incorporate it into my future wedding outfits because it has that bride vibe to it. The only downside to this dress is that it's extremely delicate because of the thin lace, so you have to be really careful not to snag anything on it or else it will rip. One tip that I have for you guys is that if you find a Stonehold Fox piece that you love, definitely do not wait on it because they don't produce a lot of units and once an item is sold out, it's really hard to find. Also, a lot of these items are not available for sale anymore, but I'll try to find some reseller links for you if you're interested in buying. Let me know in the comments down below which look was your favorite and if any of you guys are selling Stonefold Fox pieces, let me know as well because I'm definitely interested in growing my collection. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Bye!